We've done some juicy Zac gameplay here. One of the best ganking junglers in the entirety of League of Legends. At least as far as your creative gank paths go, is the best jungler in League of Legends. No one does it quite like Zac. Honestly, your E, your elastic slingshot, you can yeet yourself from like a million miles away and, and get in and just like no counterplay ganks. It's especially powerful versus lanes that don't have any uh, like gap closers to jump away from you. And yeah, your your range and your elastic skill shot goes up depending on the level of the rank of the ability. So bear that in mind. To begin with, it's nothing special, but it does get kind of crazy. A little tip for clearing as well here, guys. Get your Q level two and hit the uh, the Krogs from over the wall. Do, 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 do. This guy's going to reset. Let's bring him a little bit closer. There we go. So the plan is we start at the uh, chickens and then we level three gank whatever side we are finishing up on here. So in this situation, we're going to level three gank bot. And I'm also going to get rid of E off of Smartcast because sometimes that ruins things for me. I don't know if this is warded, but... Thresh has no flash. I think they got him level 1 or something. I can get blobbed here, but I think we still win. So it's fine, question mark. Okay, exhaust after I get blobbed. Maybe not. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, I don't know how we lost that still, to be perfectly honest. Obviously, I take a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of attention there. But yeah, I don't know. I think I mean Rakan engaged with me onto Misfortune. Probably should have slapped down the exhaust at that point. To be fair, but hey, whatever. We can go back there at some point. It's not the end of the world. It's suboptimal, but it's fine. We've got their summoners now, at least. Kha'Zix also took my blue, so... That definitely does suck for me. So I can't... You know... The fact that I'm not going to be able to go bot here to... Um, get anything in return... Is a bit of a, a yikers... I'd like to have, you know, gone into his bot side and taken that, but obviously I die, so I completely ruined my tempo there, and uh, I can't do it. Alright, is this crab up? It is up. I'm going to look mid, and then we'll go for crab. Let's put a ward down here and uh, see what's up. I think Nico's recalling. I'm going to take this. I don't know if Kha'Zix is here, which is why I'm not going to use my E, but he should be running to his bot side, honestly. He shouldn't be here. Maybe Jace wants something. Mm, dive's probably not a good idea. Could be a Lantern bot as well from Kha'Zix. Mm, I'm tempted to dive top. Alright, rank 2 of my E now. Slightly better range already. I'm going to have to be a bit patient here with my positioning. He's going to go for this minion. I jump in. We hit the Q. Knock him back. He's dead? Question mark? No. Yes. Wow. That is surprising. Cool. Good stuff. The easiest way to hit your Q on someone. Oh, come off it. I'm not taking anything, I'm just pushing. I know, you will share the XP. Grow up. Cretin, I just gave you a kill. Um, the easiest way to land your Q isn't to do what I did there, and even what I did against Misfortune as well. It's to Q a minion, and then just right-click your target. Like, that's genuinely the easiest way to hit someone. But, uh... I've got amazing aim, so I've not needed to do that. All right, let's go back, but let's see if I can do something here. Maybe I get level five before I do that. Holy moly. Stupid ADCs that start coal. 
I don't know. That is just. It was just. I mean, it doesn't. I don't know. I know I'm coming down at level three. You don't even have to do anything. You just don't take a bad trade and you're fine, right? Unfortunately, I did take a bad trade and it was not fine. I guess. Alright, itemization wise on tank mid uh, tank junglers you can do a few things. You can do demonic embrace. You can do some fire cape and you can or you can do like Jack Show slash What's that item called? Radiant Virtue, I think it's called. Yeah. So there are a few options for you there. I'm doing some fire cape. I do want a bit more armor this game since I'm against Kha'Zix, mid, Jace, top. We might skip the Demonic Embrace or at least maybe we get it third, but it's not going to be in my immediate radar. Obviously, it's uh, it's good for like a damage focus if you want to do that. Mm, didn't quite hit level 6 here, but I am very close to it. We're going Dragon. Okay, let's just do Dragon then. Fine. We did see Kha'Zix top side, so if he really gets the push, then yeah. Nice, good knock up. Don't know. Just sounds a bit of a. I mean, my goo. I wonder if I can just run through here. To be honest, he should be able to just take it away from me. Wait, why is he waiting for me? He doesn't win this, no. Interesting. We'll take it. Don't think Jace is chasing me here, so that's cool. Just going mid instead. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm going to have to wait for another wave, but I definitely want to look mid here. She can just press W to get away from me. So bear that in mind. It's not easy. It's not easy for me to land on her with my E if her W's up. I'm looking bot here as well. I'm not even gonna take these minions. Guess I'll leave them for the tower here. It's fine. I'm still taking the XP over the wall, so it's cool. All right, let's go bot. That was very cheeky. Maybe I can save him here, actually. Where's MF? There she is. I mean, we get one back. It's cool, I suppose. We've just got the vision there, which is nice. Uh, Varus is coming in and he's relatively close, but I don't think Misfortune will push out by herself to take tower plates. That would seem a little too risky. She might actually face check me. She puts a, a ward down here. Uh, I tried to queue into the ward there, almost. I need to go shop though. I'm rich. I'm very rich. I need to spend my money. That's good. We needed a little bit of a win here. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to focus MF here. Ooh, maybe I should have blocked that actually. Nice. 
Very groovy. Very groovy. Scott Avia maybe look top. Jace might want a little bit of action. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Do I want to go for Ninja Tabby? Yeah, I guess so. I really like um, CDR boots on Zack, but I don't think it's where it's at this game. I don't know. I just think they've got so many auto attackers and like physical damage and stuff. Like, it just seems too good to go Ninja Tabby. Like, Jace, Misfortune. This doesn't feel good for Tristana, I'm not going to lie. Enemy double kill. An enemy has been slain. Shut down. I won't go top, don't worry. No, you don't want me to push or anything like that. Kha'Zix was just bot, he killed my bot lane, so... We will go topside. Handshake trade this objective. That really sucks, actually, because he could be here now. Okay, he's not here. We're fine. We've got one more minute left, actually. That was very aggressive by Kazix. Don't really want the shutdown gold. To be honest, I'm not a carry. But, I mean, we got it and didn't die, so I guess it's fine. Nice little cheeky herald as well. We got plates. First blood tower stops Jace from getting it. I don't really want to fight here, I'm not going to lie, dude. It's just us. Still got a lot of gold again. Which I would like to do before we play for this dragon. Pretty big spike for us. Are they going for it now though? Yeah, I sh shouldn't have pissed about to be honest. Okay, I hit him. Bit of miscommunication from Kazix and his team. Early is doing big things mid though, which is good. What up, Rip? Good to see you, bud. Let's do Jack Show. It's a nice kind of like carry item. Well, it's a good like damage option. Uh, I guess selfish is the word. Radiant Virtue is more of the team focused tank item, tank mythic. Jack Show is more of the uh, solo focused, individual strength focused mythic. So yeah, that's the difference. Like, if you feel like you want to play more towards your team, or maybe like you're having a bit of a, a crappier game, or you're you've got someone on your team that's absolutely going mental, then yeah, Jack Show is cool. But if you want to be more selfish, like this game, I've got a lot of kills. I'm really strong. It's really good for me to be like putting up, putting that gold into myself. Not in a kinky way, obviously. Do, 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 do. Sus. What can I say? Oh, this is so juicy. Do we do it? 
I can just get flayed out of this play. Oh my goodness. Sneeko is just breaking my ankles, dude. Oh, that was so close on the grab. Tanks in League of Legends, by the way. Come hither. So fair. So fair. So cool. So nice. See, that was more like a Jack Show fight right there. Seven hundred gold bounty. God, do I need to get like Zonyas? Oof, that sucks. Edge, of, yeah, nice. Edge of Night on Kazix. Edge of Night on Assassins in general is such a pain in the ass, dude. Really hard to play into. All right, we go for Abyssal Mask here, or is it Demonic Embrace, this one? Demonic Embrace. I always get those two items mixed up. Yeah, we do Demonic Embrace. It's damage, and I'm huge, so yeah. Like I'm, I, I already have enough tankiness, really. Fuck. Oh. I'm going to pop my ulti here, because to be honest, back, yeah. Two reasons. Number one, an isolated Kha'Zix, two, I two items. Like, he's... I know I'm mega strong, but he's not exactly weak. He's still got seven kills. 100 farm. Yeah, so he's he's still pretty strong there. And uh, I miss my E as well, which is like my main... Like a huge, a huge chunk of damage. 250 damage there. And uh, lastly... If I were to kill him, it would be a little bit slow, and we didn't know where his teammates were. They could easily be there. How are you so proactive, like, where you need to be all the time? To be honest, with Zach, I just go where I see bad guys, you know? I've been looking at lanes as well and seeing which one's kind of pushed out or whatever. But because you can just gank from anywhere at all time, you can be really... You don't have to be selective with your ganks at all. Do you know what I mean? You can just be really, really aggro and it's nice and chill. My goo. So that does help you to be in the right place at the right time when it's just easy for you to be there because you can just be anywhere basically. Alright, we play for Dwagon here. I've got my Demonic Embrace. I've got a Pink Ward. I am very close to my jungle item upgrade. The fact I don't have it yet is a little bit criminal, but it's not too bad. Who is that? Varus, you fucking cretin. What was he even doing there, man? What was he even doing there? To be fair, at this point, this dragon isn't really worth anything for us. I guess I can try and steal it, but... Uh -oh. I was going to say, it's not worth me dying for this, though. Fuck. I shouldn't have listened, because I'm worth 700 gold, right? It's not worth me dying for it. Shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have listened, man. I shouldn't have listened. Yeah. Yeah, we should have let it go. Should have let it go. I should have cleared. Maybe gone into the top side here and done something. Um, if I was there faster, I can do like a drive-by smite, which is kind of... It's something quite unique to Zag, which is a really cool mechanic you can do. But if you if you jump from like left to right here or up down, depending how you're looking at it, uh, you can jump from, from this bush here or like this side and you jump to this position and you'll jump over like this, right? And while you're jumping over, you are in smite range, if they haven't pulled it out. You're in smite range of the dragon, and you can steal the dragon 
from yeah as you're jumping across and that way you can you can have a, a chance at stealing without actually having to put yourself in danger but it, it's not easy to do that because you have to time it right and at the same time like um, if you're not jumping in you don't have the damage to help you you know kill kill the dragon dude What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, that's actually really bad for us. take this one <laughs> at all. Maybe we'd stop them for a little bit. I mean, we got one. We're buying a bit of time as well, maybe. I still had a 300 shutdown, which was gross. Jesus, dude. This Kha'Zix is going mega now. Mm. Oh my god. Well, it being the Zack show is starting to show its uh, <laughs> its downsides here when you're coming out of the lane phase and you're actually having to group and make plays. It's not really that that fun anymore. <laughs> uh, we're getting caught though, to be honest. Please care, getting caught a lot. ATM. I'll be nice and I won't flame anyone, but I will say, guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? I think we go for this for sure here. Fair play. I can still get a good engage with my E, but we don't have Aurelia anymore. She's topside. So, probably not going to happen. She's just going to split push. Which is a little lame for me. Because, like, I want to engage and fight. And uh, Irelia doesn't want to fight at all. She wants to chill. So, we can try and just wave play with Varus Q and stuff, I guess. I think the fact that we've not lost too many dragons here does help, though. Because there's no pressure, really, on us to, to do anything. So I'll just hover and maybe protect. I'd like to... There you go. That's what I wanted to do. I'd like to do what Rakan is doing in Shadow Aurelia. Where did Jace go? In the bush? Sure. Okay, that's good though. We're considering they have Nash, they're not really getting anything here, so it's cool. We're chilling. We are shilling. Don't think do we? It's warded though. I'm not I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this at all. I don't know why we're so intent on starting this up. We are not like mega strong or anything. We're kind of weak, actually. Radius is pushing mid, too. I can try and drive by smite it. Nope. Yeah, Kha'Zix Q plus smite combo. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible to steal against, really. That's not going to happen. Shut down. 
you know, he if he if he combos it right and presses smite at the time he presses his Q, he does like 2,000 damage smite. 2,000 damage combo. Yeah, I, I feel like that's maybe a little much. Maybe a little much. It's always worth a try, I guess, but... Yeah. One of the better smite securers in the game. I'm actually feeling this big time. Yes. Yes, thank you, Thresh. Setting that up for me, you legend. Good shit. Not sure why they engaged on that. It's risky. You know, they've got Kazix top. Kazix is probably going to be here. Kazix top. Apparently, Nico was top as well. Like, if your team's not there, you can't make that play. But now we're pushing up as three. I mean, it is at worst 3v3 here, but we don't know where Kazix or Nico is right now. I guess this is fine, yeah. We can back off now. I fucking hate this new dust blade, by the way. How gross is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, now. Have Varus, mate. Jesus. I think I just get out of here. I don't have my. I don't have like a war mugs or something for the hill. I, I don't know if I like this Aurelia's game plan here. I feel like she's maybe splitting a bit too much. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's the right play. Like, she's not really getting too much. So like, I'm, I don't know though. I don't know whether it's her or us. It could be that we're just not leveraging her pressure very well, you know? Because we're getting caught a lot. Ideally, like she'd split push and then we'd be able to take an objective on the side while they send people to deal with her. But it just, it just doesn't seem to be working that way. And I guess from a sad point as well, like, we are stronger together. I think they're on it. Almost guarantee they're on it here, but again, without Aurelia, what do we do here? I mean, like, she, if she's pushing up here, I don't have, like, any face check or anything. We can't, we can't make that play. I'm going to go for this stone plate and just see what's up. I'm surprised Kazix didn't take these. It's just so gross, isn't it? This dust blade. Like, he gets like a freeze on you after every takedown. It's actually insane. Like, when you have Edge of Knight as well, like, you get a bunch of health in that spell shield. Cleaver's giving him health. He's just not... He's just really hard to deal with. Invisibility. This item was a mistake. Or specifically, this item rework was a mistake.
That's a good MFO. That's a good fucking MFO. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's a good misfortune, ulti. Oh no. Oh no. You hate to see it. Good fight for us until that. Oh dear. Yeah. Just tough. Just tough. That was a perfect choke point for Misfortune. She got a great ult off in this build as well. AD. Armor pen, lethality. That is a that is an ultimate Misfortune build. It's, it's, an, it's an ability focused Misfortune build. And that's, that's spooky. Okay. Um, yeah, what are we doing here? How do you win this game? I mean, I guess something like that, but maybe less of a choke point. Having Rakan around would have been good too. Maybe I... But we're just not grouped. We're just never grouped, so I can't even look for cheeky engages like this. You know, oh, they're pushing up mid. Let me engage. You know, obviously this is a not a good example at all, but... You know what I mean? I'm going for this. No, I'm not. Take that as, oh my god, Shasani, you're fucking drunk. Don't fucking even, don't even. Okay, that was a little bit awkward. I split them up with my ult, and Rakan flash Ws. I can I can knock his edge of night with my smite here. This is fine. I think he's dead, is he? He's dead. Okay, I'm down for this. I'm down for this. Can I? Well, now I'm in trouble. Still need 400 gold for my stone plate. Do you see what I mean? Like, this is just such a tough game to play as Zach. I just want to force engages constantly, but we're in no position to want to fight them as a team. We we can fight them as a team. Like, we're not. I don't think we're weak necessarily. I mean, to be fair, we're not strong, <laughs> but you know, we have potential to make plays for sure. It's just, yeah, I don't know. It's fucking difficult, isn't it? It's difficult. Don't do it, Aurelia, please. Okay, we are grouped now. Hit it. Okay, I've split Kha'Zix now. He's got to be dead, right? Dude, is this MF from TFT? Why is she just standing still? Uh, do we end? Yeah, push mid. I think they all died within like the same time. And that time is pretty long here. That, that probably should be game. We've got a mini wave as well. The mini wave's a little bit slow getting in. We definitely end here. 
Look at that, one team fight. All we need. <laughs> I don't feel like that game should have been that hard. But it wasn't hard, it was easy. Right. Easiest game of my life. Yeah, and I'm sorry, but this this is so disgusting. Dust Blade plus a little bit. Of, and he had Death Dance as well there. It's so gross. That build is so gross. Hideous.